All right, hey guys, this is Juan Zuniga, and this is Jensek, and the video that you guys have been waiting for, the review on the 2014 Porsche. Uh, this is a Carrera S, and this is Jose's little baby. It is. It is. <laughs> First, it was the Black Mamba. The Black Mamba was his thing. That was and, my dream car. Yeah, I, I know. But this one replaced it pretty quick. Like, <laughs> really quick. <laughs> just, I forgot about it. There's I'm... no pictures of the Black Mamba anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is the Carrera S. Um, this one is a step above the regular base Carrera. Carrera yeah, it's you know, one up. You know, uh, this one has... I think it's like the Carrera, Carrera S, GTS, G Turbo, if yeah. I'm not wrong. And then the GT3. And the GT... Well, yeah. I think that's the way it goes. Yeah. Um, you can correct us if we're wrong down below. Um, this one has a flat six, 3.8 liter uh, engine, and it does zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds. Pretty much. It has about 420 horsepower and then 325 pounds of torque. 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower and 300. 430 is the power kit one that I wish I had. Okay. Yeah. So 400 horsepower and about 325 pounds of torque. He is looking into making some modifications of tune exhaust. Yeah, I intake. think. I th yeah, I think with like the basic bolt downs and a tune, I, I might be 450 in the crank. So about 450, he but might I mean, have a chance is, in beating me in the race. I don't even, the, I don't even need to tune it. Like that's the thing. Keep in mind, 4.1 seconds. But you know, we all know Porsche is very, very uh, what are they conservative? Conservative. Exactly. I think so, I saw a Motor Trend article say that they got like 3.6 in this bad boy. So, so I mean, it has I more I horsepower. Than I don't need advertised. much to beat. I mean, it's a Mercedes. Come on, hey, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sedan, so it's a little heavier, but I still have 600 horsepower, and Mercedes like, is conservative as well with their you know, horsepower. You know, the funny thing is that, what, you know how embarrassing it is going to be for Mercedes when I beat you in a car with 200 horsepower less? Yeah, no. but I'm a sedan, four-door, no. with car seats, let's and babies at, inside, basically. No, no, no let's, look at, let's look at weight. Do you know how much this one weighs? I think this one might weigh like 500 pounds less than yours, if that. That's a lot. Come on. But you have 200 horsepower. That's that's a whole Honda Civic <laughs> on top of my car. <laughs> and I would still whoop it. Uh, okay, back to the review. All right. <laughs> um, great thing about this car, you guys know it's a black car, but it was wrapped in this khaki. Uh, what is it? it? It's like a... Army khaki Khaki green. green. Khaki, khaki green. green. So like the color is different. It is unique and it looks amazing. Um, one of the things that I like about this car is the interior. Um, it's very simple. It's very elegant. Everything's to, accessible to the driver. I have to agree with that. Um, it, it's it's just to the point. No bells and whistles. Exactly. It's like the complete polar opposite of yours, which I love. I the think Mercedes looks Everybody amazing. that gets in our like both our cars, I think they like yours better interior because it just it's like a spaceship. Here, it's like you have your basics. You That's have it. your bait, but it looks yeah. elegant. I actually I like, like that. it, and, Correct. and you can. It's easier to find everything. It's a, it's With a, it's the Mercedes, a polar opposite. It took me a long time to figure it out. Yeah, but you, you also know. have more features and all exactly. that stuff. So it's more of a luxury sedan. This Correct. one's more of a sports car. I mean, that's why it's, it's polar opposites, really. Yeah. So another great thing I like about it is the back seats. A lot of people hate and they think they're useless. But I, I I put two girls back there. Exactly. My girlfriend's two girls. I had them back there. You can put two kids back there. By the way, they're not her daughters. I'm, I meant sisters. sisters. <laughs> sisters. <laughs> I, have, I have two kids right now. They're, they're, they're her sisters. You can actually put kids that will fit comfortably, and you can put an adult if it, yeah. there's an emergency. I've been able Bad to sit emergency. back there, and I was a little, you know, uncomfortable, but I'd rather be uncomfortable than having to walk, really, yeah. or pay for an Uber. So they actually are useful. And you can use them as storage space. <laughs> you forgot what you were talking about. <laughs> and you can use them as storage space. You can put your groceries bags on the on the back and everything. So you have some, kind of like some trunk space on top of the trunk space you have in the front. So you have a lot of space, a lot of storage. In can this I just say I love me. the front? Like the I love that I have trunk. a front. <laughs> I, I don't know why I love that I have a front. Because you're a tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. Damn. That, that was me. <laughs> But keep going. <laughs> People get mad that I interrupt you, but it's it's conversation. What do you expect me to be quiet? Like you're such a douche. Okay? Right, keep going. My bad. Anyways, 
Uh, there's a lot of storage space in this place. Also, one of my favorite features is the cup holders. You don't find it anywhere. They're actually hidden by the glove compartment. You actually press the middle one and you have access to two cup holders and you can still close it up and you have cup holders. I love that feature, but it's impractical. I'm telling you right now, like I've had bottles in there, they just fly out. Like it's, I but it's cool. I can see that happening. It's like I a cool gag. See, and I can see if you have a bottle or one of those cups that sweat. Oh yeah. That's gonna sweat all over the dashboard. So it's a little impractical, but hey, come on. It's No, it's a cool gag. Like I love it. It's <laughs> but, pretty cool. But it's impractical. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's useful whenever you need it. Yeah. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward. I think that's the most techy, out of the ordinary feature of this car. Everything else yeah. is very straightforward. Now handling. Handling, I believe this is the best handling car. I don't think any car I've driven, I mean, I've te we've tested. We haven't driven every car out there, but. We've just every, driven a lot of cars. But what I've, I, I've driven, this is by far the best handling car. And, and by the reviews that I've seen everywhere, they agree with us with the same thing. Yeah. So I believe that this one is the best handling car, period. And you know, all honesty, all jokes aside about the race and everything, you know, straight line performance, you know, with your horse, I've said it before, that car is a bullet. Compared to this car, it's not even comparable. I think where it has an edge would be it's in the handling. handling and traction. You know, but and since we're not tracking it, it really helps me zero. <laughs> But it's that's just the straight. thing, though. I mean, I have so much power, and the handling on, a, on the Mercedes is not... I mean, it just gets loose compared to this one. But it's, it's more, just the first two gears. Like, yeah. once you lock in that thing, man. So hopefully in a quarter mile, I can, <laughs> I can make it. If not, I don't know what's going to happen. But, I mean, definitely. I'm going to keep your car for a month. That's going to happen. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what's going to happen? Definitely. On, on the track, this car would win hands down. We are thinking about doing a video, taking both cars to a track, that, so it's going to be interesting. That can, would be after the race, though. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if I lose, I need a redemption yeah. redemption <laughs> race. The only way I can win, well, I suck. Well, at the, I've never tracked, so I'm pretty sure I'd suck, so I don't even know if hey, I would win there. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, it'll be fun. So we're looking into that and see what happens. All right, so I think that's it Tim, for me. Do you have anything else to add to it? Mm, you covered everything. I mean, those are pretty much the basics. If there's something that you want a guy see more particular, like an interior review or something, um, you know, we can do that, but... But it's very basic. Yeah. It's not basic. I mean, yeah, it's basic. It just has, like, the basic stuff a car has. What you need, yeah. So... So, but, yeah, just let us know if there's anything else you guys want to see on this car or on the other car, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.